Boys, we just got the brand new postseason wild card program in MLB The Show. Not only did we get some amazing 99 overalls, but the whole program is super, super easy. And on top of that, we got a really good event. I ended up making a video on the event yesterday, and I guess that I just had fake news because that was that was so wrong. Is we actually got some really good rewards that are coming in the event. We got a 97 overall Gabriel Moreno, who actually looks pretty dang good. Not a bad card by any means. Um, for a 97, obviously. And then we get the rewind pack, which has the Tatis. So if you listen to me, I I just I hope that you guys listen to me. Last event, I was like, sell Tatis, sell Tatis, sell Tatis, and get him now. So this is gonna be how I am cashing in on Tatis. I sold him. I took the 390,000 stubs, which was just ridiculous for Tatis. And he's now gonna be my shortstop for a very long time. On top of that, we get a 20 win Josh Bell. This card is nuts, nuts. I know the fishing sucks, but if you ever used a Josh Bell card, you know that switching first baseman, balance stats, oh my gosh, he hits so well. He's got that just, that pretty swing, that just pretty swing that you can't teach. I love Josh Bell, but we have a lot of content to talk about and a lot of amazing free 99s. So before we get into today's video, make sure that you guys drop a like and a sub and let's get right into it. If you guys want cheap stubs and you don't want to give all your money to San Diego, make sure that you go to u4gm.com. We have a huge coupon code for 10% off your purchase right now. So use that fast before that stops. So of today's video, which is just, it's so nice is the postseason wildcard program. Okay, we got some 99s. I'm not gonna even talk about the 97s. Nobody cares about that. 99 overall Royce Lewis. The one thing I'll say about this card is, why do they keep on destroying cards vision, man? Like, this is a great card. He's got some good pop, and like, he looks very, very good. He's gonna be on everybody's lineup. It's just, I don't know why they continually just say, you know what, we hate cards with good vision so if it's a free card they're not giving it good vision Royce Lewis utility guy 80 vision ah, it's, just, it's okay Bryson Scott a little bit better with 91 vision like they have good clutch so it's not like their contacts bad it's just on Hall of Fame and Legend it, it does hurt and if you say it doesn't matter you've never played Hall of Fame and Legend with a lot of these guys and maybe you guys can argue with me in the comment section but I just that's what I believe same with Evan Carter like great stats 66 vision it's just, it's a small, a small, a small vision, just small vision on all these cards. 82 vision on Willie Damas, but he's really good too. Um, we get pennant race packs. These are only going for 10K. Originally, I was like, well, we're probably going to make uh, roughly 200,000 playing the program. I don't think we're going to make 200,000. I think we're going to make about 50, but it's really easy. And let's talk about it. Okay, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to do the moments. Okay, there's a ton of these moments. So you're going to be doing a good amount of moments, but they're super easy. It's like hit a homer, power swing for those, get on base, normal swing for those. Um, for the strikeout, usually just two high end fastballs and a slider away. Um, get on base two times, hit a homer. Like these are really easy, easy. They're on veteran. Like they're on veteran. You guys are going to be fine. So easy. Whenever you finish the moments, you're going to get you're going to get 20 postseason stars. So you're going to get up to 20. So you'll get up to this Trevor McGill. And once you get those 20, the first thing that you guys are going to do is you're going to take those cards. And I would not play. Po well, I think that playing mini season would just be stupid. I, it's just I just I don't I don't understand why you would do that. But there's a lot of online stat missions, okay? So you're getting a lot of online stat missions. It's like get on base with postseason players, wins, Ks, innings pitch, saved. So one thing that I will recommend is whenever you are grinding this, is that what we're going to do is we're actually going to take every single card that we get in this video and we're going to take those cards and play the event. You already should be playing the event so you can get the 99 overall Tatis. So make sure that you're doing the event taking the cards and you're going to get all of these parallel XP missions, which are going to be really nice on top of the single player stats missions and the online stats missions, which is basically how you are going to do it. Now the single player stats missions for like the hits with Tampa Bay Rays or hits with Rangers case with Rays. I would recommend just throwing in a couple live series arms. Okay. The best way to do it is arms with the, with the pitchers. It's just, this is easy. The hits, Maybe you want to throw Corey Seager in your A-hole, in your 9-hole in the event, but I would just, like, they're not that bad. One way that you can do, too, 
is um and it looks like these are single player actually so you're gonna have to play offline is it's already making you do a conquest for 20 just take all the postseason cards and if you don't have any postseason cards left make sure you're using live series guys from the postseason whenever you're playing the conquest so do the missions and do the moments and then take it into conquest and then take those cards that you've gotten from conquest by getting to about 40 to 50 in the program by then like this isn't very hard you go into the event and you grind the event for the rest of the way it's not that difficult i don't think that you need to collect any of these guys now i know josh bell is going for 30 zach wheeler is going for 25 like that just that doesn't make a lot of sense especially for wheeler being the 20 or 12 win reward like definitely not um definitely not this card actually looks kind of gross too 300k um, pretty good control sinker slurve slider guy like he's pretty good, but definitely not wheeler if you want to do Josh Bell You can I just I wouldn't recommend doing it It doesn't make a lot of sense to me just because I would sell this card if you can because this Josh Bell card I mean right now he's up for 380k with how these event cards have been selling I think we can make 200,000 stubs playing the event. I really do. I think you can play, make at least 200,000 playing the event. And oh man, I want Josh Bell. Wait a week and a half. Just wait a week and a half and get him in the rewind pack. You're going to be okay. So if you want to be smart, if you're no money spent, sell the dang player. Sell the player. You're going to be loving life when you're just so rich in stubs. And this is like, honestly, late game, this is how I've been making stubs. I haven't really been doing my stub methods a ton to where I'm flipping cards. I have just been playing events and selling the cards, playing Battle Royale, selling the cards, playing World Series Ranked, selling the cards. It's super easy at this point of the year that you guys should already be super rich. And if you're not, this will get you rich really quick. So if you didn't play MLB The Show for a while and you're like, I don't have any set three, set four cards, there's so many good Budget Beast videos. Check out my Budget Beast videos. There's so many good Budget Beasts in the game right now. And if you just sell this Josh Bell for 380 k you are going to have a full team. You're going to have a full team that can hang with the rest of them. Some of these cards, like, it's just, it's so easy this year. I love it. But this is a really good program, and it's so much fun. So make sure that you guys are grinding this. Take advantage of your free stubs and enjoy it because SDS is just, they're just laying it on us right now. They're laying it on us, and I, I love it. It's so much fun. But Josh Bell is a really good card. A lot of these cards are really fun. Hopefully, Royce Lewis rakes. Like, I'll see if he rakes. I'll try him. Maybe the vision isn't the greatest, but maybe he, like, hits bombs. Who knows? But there's a lot of really good cards that we have, and I'm super excited to do this. Great program, San Diego. It's, it's honestly awesome. Boys, enjoyed this video, and you want to see more like this, make sure you guys drop a like and a sub. Probably a Madden video tomorrow. I know I said I was going to do a Madden video a couple of days ago, but, you know, things just happened. You know, work was kind of crazy. But Josh Bell, a lot of these really cards are really good. Awesome program. Drop a sub if you haven't already. I'll talk to you boys later. Have a great rest of your day. And peace.